Welcome to this quick tour on how to use Loomly's library to streamline your creative workflow. You can easily access the library at all times by clicking on this icon in the top right corner. There are three ways to manage your visual assets. The first is the grid view, which is what you see when you land on the library and is a great way to get a bird's eye view on what has been added to Loomly. You can easily upload multiple images and videos at a time, including from Unsplash. If you have text or ideas for a post but you're not yet ready to draft it, then you can go ahead and add it to a note. This makes it easy to create multiple posts by quickly selecting the correct note and visual, and then creating a post. You can also set up templates, which basically look like the post builder but without any date. You can add in a subject for easy reference as well as any labels. This is a great way to maintain your brand aesthetic on different social channels or to share reoccurring content like sales, events, or store hours. Once you've customized your post template, then you can go ahead and create it. You can navigate through your assets by clicking on the arrow here or by filtering your assets using the following criteria, including asset type, any labels you've applied, whether it's been used in a post, whether you've manually marked it as used, the date it was added on or before, the date it was used on or before. When you select assets by clicking on them or by holding down the shift key and then choosing a range, you'll be given a few options, including creating a slideshow that you can use on LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter, bulk adding labels to each of your assets for easy organization and campaign tracking, deleting the assets, downloading them, or creating a post. Moving on to the list view, which you can access by toggling this button here, you'll be able to see a thumbnail of the asset, the name, the type, its size, as well as any associated labels, and who it was created by. You'll also have the same capabilities of actions to take with assets as you did in the grid view. And finally, the asset view is available from both the grid and list views by clicking on the three dots or by selecting the asset in the list view. In the asset view, you'll be able to update the name of the asset as well as provide a description and add labels. You'll also be able to see similar details as the list view, including the size, who it was created by, upload date, and more. The asset view also has this addition of being able to track logs of all the activity taken on this particular asset, including whether or not it was used in a post. You can easily share out the asset link to any collaborators that you're working with, as well as mark it as used if you posted it natively or if you used it in a blog post. If an asset hasn't yet been used in a post, then you have two additional options in the asset view. The first is that you can upload a new version, which is great if you already have the labels in place and all of the details, but your creative team shared an updated image, for example. The second option is access to Loomly Studio. This is where you can edit all of your images right from your dashboard. You can easily change the crop ratio to match different social channels, add in filters, clean up the image, change the focus, add in text, and include an overlay. If you have any other questions on how to use Loomly's library, you can go ahead and check out our FAQ and search for any articles that you may need. Thanks for listening.